Good morning, everyone. My name is Annie Fink, and I'm the Marketing Coordinator for Wonderware California. Thank you for attending our webinar today focused on the IVNC Automated Body Temperature Detection System. After the webinar this morning, we'll be doing a short Q&A. Please type any questions or comments into the Q&A box, the chat box, or you can email us at webinar at california.wonderware.com. Now I'd like to introduce your presenters for today's webinar. I'm Marco Demiakiak and Jared Melendez. Marco is a sales development representative at Wonderware California and Jared is in technical sales at IVNC. Good morning to Marco and Jared. Morning. Oh, Marco, you're muted. Sorry. Um, sorry, uh, thanks for joining us this morning. As a distributor for IVNC, we wanted to bring them in a demo their elevated body temperature scanning system. Uh, with many of you, our customers being essential businesses, we understand employee safety is a top priority. So this system could serve as a, a key component to your guys' COVID-19 prevention strategy. And uh, with that being said, uh, I will let Jared Melendez take over as he's the technical specialist with IVNC. Thanks, Marco. Uh, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, again, my name is Jared Melendez. I am part of the sales force here at Industrial Video and Control. Uh, and I've managed our partnership with Wonderware California for the past few years. Uh, so for today's presentation, I'll quickly cover an intro to our company. I'll introduce our new ThermID product, which is our solution to aid in screening, your screening process to bring workers back to work safely. I'll go over some of the product features, and then I'll hand the presentation off to Rafael Bastidas, who is our chief video engineer, and he'll quickly go through a live demo of our ThermID system. Uh, we can then answer any of your questions. In total, this should take about 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, so a little bit about our company. We're headquartered just outside of Boston, Massachusetts, and have been engineering IP video solutions since 2001. Our core capabilities include manufacturing of industrial video cameras, development of our own video management software, and deep industrial video application expertise. As a camera manufacturer, we provide a full range of hardened video cameras, primarily for industrial type applications. Our VMS is a robust camera management software platform, which integrates heavily with SCADA and process control systems as needed. Uh, so the solution we're discussing today is a body temperature scanning system that can quickly identify individuals with an elevated body temperature. Uh, so what's our goal? Returning to work safely. We're presenting our solution to aid in the screening process to help slow the spread today and beyond across all industries. A big percentage of you may already have a need for this now, or a system like this may become part of your company's process going forward. I do wanna be clear that monitoring the temperature of people entering your facility will not ensure workers will be safe, but it can be an effective first line of defense and should be viewed as part of your virus mitigation protocol protecting employees and customers and, and minimizing virus transmission. Uh, so the system is designed to be used anywhere employees or visitors are entering an office, factory, store, restaurant, uh, transportation entryways, for instance, airlines are using these or any other type of facility. Uh, so we're positioning this as a complete turnkey system, easy to quickly deploy and move around to different entryways as needed. This is a contactless system that will ship with our ThermID camera, our VMS, a computer, and a mobile stand. As typically deployed, our system is non-invasive and can effectively estimate body temperatures from six to 10 feet away. Uh, it's easy to set up and will automatically scan all individuals within a defined field of view. Uh, this can operate as a standalone unattended system or be networked and centrally managed in a facility-wide or even company-wide monitoring program. Uh, so the system is designed, uh, so some of the, the two um, systems that we've, we've introduced, uh, one is our pro version, the second is our commercial version. Uh, so functionally, both systems are the same. Uh, the only differences between the two systems are the type of uh, equipment that's included, so the um, 
One's a little more heavy duty than the other. So uh, typical applications for each, uh, if you're in an industrial type setting, you might look at the pro version. Uh, if you're at an entryway, which is uh, maybe a waiting room or reception area, um, some of your lighter type entryways than the commercial option uh, would be fine. Here we've listed some of the pricing for today. Uh, get with your underwear rep uh, for a quote on either one of these systems. Uh, but I do want to do want to repeat that functionally both systems operate the same. It's just a matter of the type of hardware uh, that's included with the system. So in terms of the hardware, uh, the system is designed around a dual imaging thermal and HD visual camera. Uh, and the way a thermal camera works is that it detects the infrared energy reflected from objects in its field of view. It then converts that into pixel by pixel temperature readings. You know, the camera is specifically designed for body temperature measurement tuned to a narrow range of temperature. Uh, the camera does use facial detection software uh, to read areas of your face that have the highest correlation to an individual's core temperature, so areas such as your tear ducts, and it can provide temperature readings within an accuracy of half a degree Fahrenheit. Uh, so here's how it works. These are some of the items that we'll see in the live demo shortly. Uh, when a person enters the detection zone, their temperature is immediately calculated. Next, the thumbnail image of each individual and their temperature measurement appears in a scrolling bar in the display window. These snapshots are recorded and available for review. Individuals with temperatures in normal range are highlighted with a green border. Snapshots are taken along with their detected temperatures. Uh, this is displayed in both real time and recorded images. You can at any point go back and view, see who's come in, see their temperature. Uh, when an abnormal temperature is detected, the snapshot of the individual appears with the red flashing frame and alarm is actuated. So we do have different types of uh, options for alarming. Uh, some of the alarm actions uh, do include an audio alarm, a visual alarm notification, uh, email and text messaging alarm, in video and discrete alarms, along with configurable company specific procedures for handling entries, including additional instructions that can be displayed on screen. So for instance, if someone does alarm as they're coming through, uh, maybe your company's protocol is to have this person uh, go to a designated area. So these are types of uh, examples of instructions you can put on screen. I do uh, want to mention that since we are a US-based company, we're using our software to interface with the system. Uh, so that does give us control on some of the configuration, uh, some of the customizing and being able to do certain things like adding specific on-screen instructions uh, to the system. So just, you know, that's just an added benefit uh, with going with the US-based company uh, for a system like this. Uh, so with that, uh, Raphael, if you're ready, I'll hand it off to Raphael. He's going to do a uh, live demo. We have a system set up in our manufacturing facility uh, just outside of Boston. We do have some of the uh, workers in the office, so they're um, happy enough to help us out today. We're lucky to have them. So uh, with that, Raphael, I'll hand it off to you, and we'll see the live demo. Hello, everyone. My name is Rafael Bastidas, and I'll be showing you the the demo of the system. Can you see my screen? Yep, we can see it. Okay, I'd like to start by um, explaining briefly the, the uh, software architecture. Um, as Jared mentioned, the system is designed as um, a plug and play. We are running our IVC server software which basically manages and pulls the uh, streams from the cameras. We then have a phase detection software, which basically defines when we're gonna take the measurements. Um, then what you're seeing now is our view station software. This is the client software. Um, one of the important things here is that we um, are able to customize the views. Uh, this is a sample view that we have created, but the user is able to uh, each area on the screen can be defined as a, uh, a window with a different feature. And that feature can be live video, can be instructions, can be a button. Um, and we can customize this uh, per the user. Finally, we also run um, 
our watchdog software. And that is an important thing because we make sure that all the components put up correctly when the system starts. And we also can monitor if um, a certain piece of the software has to be uh, restarted. And we do that automatically. Uh, to explain what you're seeing on the screen, uh, on the left, you see the 1080p uh, live video from, from the uh, live camera, day camera sensor. At the bottom, we are showing displaying the thermal camera. Um, the middle is basically so that you have a history of the detection. Uh, you can scroll down uh, and see what the, that history has been. Uh, if you notice at the bottom here, uh, we also are counting the scanned, the number of scans and the number of elevated temperatures. And on the right side, we're going to display um, either green or red, depending on the decision that the software makes based on the temperature. Now, we also, since um, uh, we are using our software, we can define the thresholds as far as the temperature goes. So we can define a, an area of the temperature where it's just a warning, and we, we can define another area above a certain threshold which we actually will alarm. And we can also um, just display the regular scans. So let me show you how the system, the system works. Okay, as um, you can see, um, as you can see, I simulated um, a high and elevated temperature alarm by just holding a, a cup of tea over my, my face. Now, the important thing here is that um, the face detection software will indicate when we need to scan. So if I hold, the the cup of tea in a regular way it won't trigger an alarm um next i would like to mention a few things about how the the detection setup uh, happens as jared ex explained the system will work um, between six and ten feet using the ivc software we define a detection area and that's very important because we don't want to detect lights or, or certain areas in the background that may cause false alarms. And physically, we match uh, that area with the software detection area. Um, from our, all our testing, um, we, have, we are getting very reliable results, as long as we can control the initial setup and the background. As far as the hardware, the hardware is uh, very simple. It requires 120 VAC uh, power in, and all we have is uh, the dual imager camera that connects directly to the to the computer or the laptop, and the computer uh, that connection is made via a fast Ethernet connection. And if needed to send alarms via email or text messages, we can use either Wi-Fi or a cell phone connection from that computer to the network, and that way you can make the interface towards the internet. Um, I'll take any questions at the moment. We did have one question come in. What do the employees see? Um, and is there a screen that they see? So that's really depending on how you want to set up the system. The system does come, depending on whether you go with the pro or the commercial option, they both come with a monitor. Um, so you, depending on how you set up, you have the option to have that monitor face the, the employees or visitors entering, or it could face uh, an attendant, for example. Um, so there's 
complete flex flexibility on how uh, you want to set the system up. And we can also, as Raphael mentioned, this, the, the screens that we're seeing on this demo um, are totally customizable. So for instance, if you wanted to remove that middle thumbnail scroll bar, if you didn't really want to show a history of people that have come in, uh, we can remove that. Um, it, this is just a template that we've built for the demo, but you have full control on um, <clears throat> the aspects of the screen that you do display. Wonderful, thank you. And then um, can the Therm ID be used outdoors? The um, uh, Therm ID... So, go ahead, Rafa. Okay, the Therm ID hardware is um, not designed for outdoors. We have tested uh, this as the system outdoors. However, it's very difficult to control the background. So as long as you have something in place uh, to protect against the weather and the background is controlled, then you could use it. An example of that, some, some folks have mentioned um, or in discussions of using this outdoors, you know, because we're, we're trying to mitigate the amount of, minimize the amount of false alarming we're getting. So when you're outdoors, uh, the, even if we do set that detection zone, um, just the variations in the background are, are going to create false alarms. So that's, you know, that's the reason why we're not uh, recommending this for outdoor use and we've tested it outdoors and we're not happy with the results. So uh, if we did have some type of controlled background, so if someone has mentioned uh, maybe doing an entry tent or just some type of way to um, control that background, you know, that's something that could be further explored if it had to be uh, set up outside. Perfect. And then can you send alarms to an email address? Yes, you can. You can uh, send alarms with a snapshot um, to an email address. You can send also the same alarm to uh, uh, as a text message. Perfect. And then can it connect to a network? Uh, you can connect to a network. Um, you can do it via, uh, it can be an Ethernet connection, um, Wi-Fi. The computer that we're offering uses 802.11ac, so both frequencies. And if needed, um, we can plug in a, a, an LTE modem or a, or a USB modem for a cell phone connection. Perfect. And then if a person runs to the destination or arrives uh, mid or after exercise, will that set off an alarm? Can you repeat that question, please? Sorry about that. Um, if a person runs to the destination or arrives mid or after exercise, will that set off an alarm? It's very possible that that could set off a false alarm. So because the, the, the system, the technology is um, taking skin temperature readings, right? So if someone has an elevated temperature just from normal exercise activity, um, it could be it could be an example where someone does set the set off an alarm. However, you know, companies should have their protocols in place. So if an alarm does go off, maybe um, you know the employee or visitor explains they were just exercising, so there's a resting period. And then the person would then come through again and you'd see that temperature go back down. That's an example of, of something that the airlines are doing. For example, there is a resting period if someone does alarm um, to give the person uh, the option to come through again if um, it might be elevated because of uh, exercise, for example. Okay, perfect. And then how long can you store snapshot, snapshots for? That depends on the hard drive that we uh, offer, and we, we can include as much as storage as needed. Okay, perfect. And that's all the questions we have for now. Okay. And then did we have any more demo um, before we wrap it up for the day? 
Uh, so we're all set on this end. Uh, you know, I would um, I do just like to remind everyone that this is a US-based product. Uh, so because of that, we're using our software. Um, we're able to support the system as needed. Um, where we do ship plug and play, um, Rafael or some of our other technicians are always available to help with any of the initial setup um, or any technical questions after that. Um, but other than that, you know, reach out to your Wonderware rep uh, for some more information and thanks for joining us today. Perfect. Thank you, Jared. And thank you, Rafael. And thank you to everyone who attended. If anyone would like to review any portion of this webinar, our recording will be available on YouTube and our website, california.wonderware.com, later this afternoon, and you'll be receiving a copy of it via email. Thank you again for attending and have a great day.